Turning now to Florida and the growing debate over new standards for teaching black history. Tonight, Governor Ron DeSantis and others behind the guidelines responding to the criticism. Vice President Kamala Harris accusing the state of replacing history with lies. That's over the suggestion that some enslaved people benefited from skills they acquired. Here's ABC's Mary Alice Parks. Tonight, growing backlash against Governor Ron DeSantis and the Florida Board of Education over the state's new standards for teaching the history of U.S. slavery. These are the most robust standards in African-American history, probably anywhere in the country. The new guidelines require middle school students be taught, quote, how slaves develop skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. An idea Vice President Kamala Harris in Florida Friday lambasted. How is it? that anyone could suggest that in the midst of these atrocities that there was any benefit to being subjected to this level of dehumanization. In high school, the guidelines require the teaching of both acts of violence perpetrated against and by African Americans, which Florida's Education Association says diminishes an event like the 1920 Ocoee Massacre, where at least 30 African Americans were killed for attempting to vote. A volunteer member of the task force tells ABC News he stands by their work. And mid criticism, the standards gloss over the horrors of slavery. It is the case that Africans proved resourceful, resilient, and adaptive, and were able to develop skills and aptitudes which served to their benefit both while enslaved and after enslavement. And I wasn't involved in it. On the campaign trail, DeSantis distancing himself from the specifics of the curriculum, but still defending the new guidelines. I think that they're probably going to show um, some of the folks that eventually parlayed, uh, you know, being a blacksmith into into doing things later later in life. And tonight, Republican rivals for the 2024 presidential nomination piling on. Former Texas Congressman Will Hurd writing, slavery wasn't a jobs program that taught beneficial skills. It was literally dehumanizing and subjugated people as property because they lacked any rights or freedoms. A lot of reaction on this tonight. Mary Alice Parks joining us from the White House. And Mary Alice, could some of this be part of a larger strategy for DeSantis? This does look like a part of a larger trend in Florida. Earlier this year, we saw DeSantis threatening to ban that advanced placement course on African-American studies. And he also signed his Stop Woke Act into law that tried to ban any instruction where people feel guilt or anguish based on history around race. With Mary Alice, our thanks to you tonight. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.